Yeah. So, um... Mission failed. <laughs> uh, the game didn't let me save it. Save it. Um, it blocked off the access to that part of the uh, game and, well, that part of the Durandal. So we are going to the dock and we are just going to save. Fuck it all and uh, save at the next save point and we head back to of green map icons, map markers, but only one yellow. Alright, let's see what's up. Okay, well, that was um, <laughs> a bit dumb, right? Uh, anyway, what we need to do is, as you can probably imagine, smash this guy and go down the path behind him that I suppose not a whole lot of people knew about when they first played the game, myself included. I had to, well, I mean, I was following the but I'm following right now, but anyway, let's go. Right, let's go. Sneaky, sneaky. Metal Gear Solid would be proud. Um, here's a fun fact about uh, my exposure to video Kojima's games. Uh, I have only played Death Stranding and, uh, of his output plays. Um, I have never once played a Metal Gear Solid game in my life. So basically, uh, spare me your uh, Metal Gear Solid memes, I will not get them. Although I suppose so that um, people in the audience might be more familiar with, uh, uh, well, with those things. I swear man, one with soft amber and the other... Looks um, totally safe, right? Save point. I want a save point. Oh. Uh, this is not the place I'm looking for. There we have a save point. Um, I'm going to be using that and um, I'll take a small break actually. So uh, I will see you very soon indeed. Uh, although it will not be very soon. All right, we are back. And um, where are my remote controls? Uh, I need to make 
this happen? Right. That was good. Now we are cooking with teapots, and um, I am uh, feeling considerably better. Uh, that is better since I uh, recorded this episode not that long ago. So um, I have no reason to suspect uh, that I was hit with the coronavirus. Like that, could be. Now all we have left to do is um, making the story happen. So let's get right on that. Some um, luxurious black oolong. <laughs> um, tastes a bit weird, but you can tell it's um, it's good stuff. <laughs> anyway, oh, <laughs> this guy's still open. Yeah, sure. Let's see if we have anything to sell. See that it sells for a lot. I don't think it's a very strong gun either. And well, we're gonna pick up something better later anyway. So a big whatever. See MSP eight nine SX. Did I sell that? Did I seriously sell that? Oh, wait, I... Uh, um, right, I think I could only have one of these animals sold, so I'll just <laughs> sell the other one. Uh, oops. Could buy more of these. I really could, but I don't need to in order to progress with the story. I mean to do the bosses. I think anyway. At least not this time. Scene time. Strap yourselves in because we Here are we go. going to get trippy. Alan, handle back up for me, all right? Roger. Opening interconnection. Get a grip. Don't worry. I'll back you up no matter what happens. Thanks. Ready, Cosmos? What? 
the? That one is kind of not supposed to do that, is it? Hi there. Mysterious lady person. Oh wait, you're Xion. Not the mysterious lady person. Sorry, sorry, never mind. Daddy! Daddy? Alright, Xion. Let's go home. We're not going to see Mom? No. Not today. We'll visit her tomorrow, okay? Okay. Wait. Don't go. You cannot go. <gasps> That's right. This was the last day you spent together with your father. I've been waiting a long time for you. We have much to talk about. Just a small interruption here. Uh, that music you just heard, the, the little piano melody that we uh, heard when the little mysterious uh, girl with the orange hair was speaking, that track is titled Nephilim on the soundtrack. It is one of the prettier melodies on the soundtrack, which is, um, well, I mean, depending on um, you know, your, own, your own tastes and uh, preferences and stuff. Uh, might not say a whole lot, but uh, I think it does say a whole lot. Although this soundtrack does uh, tend to the dramatic a whole lot, so it's not really geared towards uh, pretty music like uh, I Am Setsuna uh, and Rhyme and things, but it's pretty. Enjoy it. Uh, enjoy it when you hear it. Uh, now, though, we uh, come to something uh, a bit less pretty, the Song of Nephilim, and um, I am sorry to have to report that, um, in case anyone didn't notice, they changed this song for the later games. Uh, instead switching to... Um, Uh, I think it's called Agnus Dei. Uh, one, uh, one sort of hymn or whatever liturgical thing uh, that I first heard in End of Days. So it might be a, uh, 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 it was probably not an original. Uh, composition used for end of days, so maybe it's just um, uh, you know, common 
liturgical chant. Anyway, uh, this one, original by Yasunori Mitsuda, I prefer that because it is so goddamn much creepier than what we will hear in the other games, unfortunately. <laughs> just a hallucination. What is this place? Do you recognize it? Junior? What? <gasps> I'm asking you if you recognize this place. Yeah, I do. If this isn't an illusion, and my memory's correct, this is... Milsha. From 14 years ago. Where are you going? I wonder what's troubling him. It looks as though he's trying to chase after those people. I'm sure he has his reasons. Nonetheless, we don't know what's going on, and we can't let him go off alone. been waiting for us chaos Alan chief where are we who are you I am Nephilim that's what I have been called ever since I existed in this form. Who well, has a deeper voice than you expect, right? Phew. Finally a save point. Um, and uh, let me just uh, check real quick how, how I'm doing for time. I didn't pay much attention to when I started. Yeah. We're good for a couple of fights. Um, first, we save the game. I don't think we will hit the difficulty spike here, but... Um, well, the game gets a little... Uh, it gets more difficult as you go, of course. Um, there's nothing back here, right? No. Let's see. Oh yeah, these searchlights. We're going to be to be abusing them for EXP. Uh, first, though, we want to make sure that we're all rid of this. Um. That's not really a priority. Um, our console's doing things again. Oh, our console's working again. <laughs> Good day. <laughs> totally not nervous. I think we should... Ok, 
check poison guard on everyone. And you have search eyes. Good. Okay. Now to just uh, heal people up. Oh, wait, no. Yeah, there we go. Left shot on you. Would have been fine with just the one. Oh! Oh, right, I could use a pause here. I'll just go and do that. Hmm? Did I depart from the... Yeah, I did. <laughs> Okay, we're gonna need those MP on uh, uh, Momo. <coughs> okay, let's get some experience and money. Hmm. Well, that was a little tougher than I expected. things. Well, the good news is I'm getting a whole lot of money. Uh, and actually a fair amount of skill points. So maybe we can use them for something. Uh, not with Siggy though. Oh, no, no. Hmm. Oh, that's a thing. Sure. Uh, I'll swap that out for this, and we can move on with our lives. Coat sword. It's hard to tell where I'm going though. Oh, wait, um, have I been having too much fun again? <laughs> uh, how much time have I spent on this episode? Ah, I can, I can keep up for a few more minutes. Not a problem. Something up here as well. Literally cannot see where I'm going. I can't see. Okay, uh, should well, I mean I could increase presence on the TV, sure. Oh, hello. Ah, there you go. Now I can see what's going on. Um, I'll just take this opportunity to heal up. You can see that Ziggy uh, got a little banged up. And Junior. authority that uh, a save point is not far away. 
So I'll just uh, leave things as they are here. Although I did get a few of the points. They are in the lock a few things. Focus either attack on Ziggy. Psh. Yeah. <laughs> Not sure what they were hoping for with that. You have stone walls. Th that's perfect. We need that. We need that so much. Ah, excellent. Excellent, excellent. Excellent. Ah, this is great. To target stuff. That is going to be enormously useful later in this dungeon. Um, I'm pretty sure we will find groups of enemies that are uh, specifically vulnerable to physical attacks. Um, slash works best, I think, but um, juniors, juniors storm walls gonna be really good. And it's good for junior. We we're in good shape with this team right here. Okay. On we go. Next cutscene, please. Fine. Junior? I said I'm fine! <gasps> Sorry, I, I didn't mean to. Damn it. What the hell is this? What's going on here? I'll just cut so the commentary for now this and really um, is Milsha. get to the next save point yes. and I'll just um, A world get back of to you memories. Please, Slumber at the depths of your consciousness. 
cosmos has sensed this and recreated it. This world, it is also cosmos memory as well. Cosmos memory? No, that's not... Memories do not belong solely to one person, and they are not fixed to just one location. No, I mean... It's... The original Cosmos was... Destroyed during that incident two years ago. Joyful memories form only one half of the whole. Only when they are combined together with the other half can your consciousness truly take form. You must... No. All of you must accept the entirety of your memories. Accept... our memories? You must... Return to Milsha once again. Please tell me, why must I go to Milsha? Only Cosmos knows the answer to that question. She is waiting for you there. Cosmos is... out there? Hey, wait up! Chief! Are you sure this is what you want? There is no turning back. is vital to her. And to you as well? What will you do? Thank you. 